My name is Kainton, the Tech Pro, and finally I'm very happy I'm going to be taking this course. I'm going to be explaining this to you how to build a data application to be able to store data, edit data, add new data, and delete data. So this is based on Spring Boot and based on Time Leave and other technologies I'm going to explain to you. Why I'm happy is because this is actually, it took me several days to figure it out. Not because it's, it's really too difficult, but because, uh, but because it takes effort to be able to figure out how to explain it. Let me just take out this, so updates. Okay, so fine, it updates. Add new, let's add a new guy, uh, let's say nine. And this guy is uh, me. Okay, new description. Let's say um, <coughs> Japan and details from Japan. And last updated by Kainson. Uh, Kainson. And updated, let's say, this date. Save. So you can see that the guy from Japan has been added at the last row, as you can see. So let me edit and change his country to China. The guy from Japan now is from China, and I'm going to some. I'll explain to you the challenge with this date time format. It's just user interface things. We are going to fix it along the line. So you can see the guy from Japan now is from China, as you can see. So let's try to delete somebody from do we have several indians here yeah, indian indian so let me delete this delete are you sure yes delete it goes away okay i delete the guy from china delete and it goes away so we are going to build this bottom up from beginning to start no step skips again all the codes you need all the step-by-step -step procedure to build this application i provided it although it's not quite complete so every day i'm actually going to be making updates on this uh, procedure I have here. So you have right from step one, from the scratch, you have everything you need to build this application. This is how enterprise application is built. So if you learn it, it's going to be really good. The challenge is that there are many things involved in building this application, as I'm going to show you right now. So let's just take uh, exactly what we are going to cover. Let's outline exactly what we expect to cover in this lesson. One, we are going to look at Spring Boots. This is the framework we are going to be using, but the IDE will be Spring Tool Suits. If you have IntelliJ, it's fine too. So you can use it to create production-based applications. So many applications used by companies and big organizations, most, most times they are created recently by Spring Boot. We are going to be looking at Time Leave. Time Leave is a template engine used to process uh, view templates or HTML templates, HTML, XML, uh, has to do with displaying data to the user on the browser. So it processes HTML pages. And that is what Time Leave is all about. That is what we are going to be using. So in this series, you are going to learn, I'm going to teach you Time Leave. The next thing is H2 Database. Now, H2 Database is an in-memory database. It's extremely fast. And we are going to be using it in this application. I'm also going to teach you about H2 Database. The only thing is be consistent. Also subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. MySQL is an open source relational database management system. Now, why am I using two databases here? MySQL is a, is a relational database management system that is stored on the data on the on the disk. H2 is stored in the memory. So since we are going to be testing this application every time, it's better we have an uh, in-memory database during the production time, during the during the development time. So that when the, it loads data, when we are testing it, it's really going to be fast as we develop. I'm going to learn how to connect to MySQL and load data into MySQL. We are going to learn the MVC architecture. MVC stands for Model View Controller. And we are going to learn how to integrate these three things together. We are going to look at Bootstrap to design the user interface. You see uh, the user interface that is presented, those fancy buttons and so on. We are going to use Bootstrap to do it. Then we're also going to learn about jQuery. jQuery is very handy when you want to, to develop also user interface uh, component that responds to event to mouse clicks. It's a, a library designed to simplify HTML DOM tree traversal and manipulation. DOM means document object model, as well as handling CSS animation and AJAX. And finally, this is the architecture we are going to be using. Oh, sorry. Okay. So take notes 
about this architecture because as we develop this, this application, we are going to see how whatever we are going to build is going to map to each section. So the HTML page, if we create a .html file, that file belongs to the view section, developed with time leaf. It will create a REST controller, actually not a REST controller, but a controller. And it's going to be a Java file that belongs to this controller. Then we are going to create a service, which is a .java class that is in this section. And we are going to create a repository, which is also a .java file that, that accesses the database. So we are going to be using, maybe we can use a student table. We are going to our nationality table that stores list of countries. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to do it gradually, step by step. In my website, which you see in the description box, you can see procedure for you to follow. If you miss out something following this procedure, leave me a comment and I'm going to respond to you to give you the help you need. Don't give up. Don't think of going to pay so much money to learn some of these things because they are very, they are really not difficult, only that it, it is confusing since there are a whole lot of technologies involved in them. So let me just uh, give you a sneak peek into all the back end of what we are going to do. As I mentioned, we have this HTML page. As you can see, this is a HTML file. As you can see, this is a controller. You can see it's a controller. This is a service. I told you, we're also going to build a service. This is a repository. This is a model we are going to be using. And this is SQL. Uh, data file that is used to load the initial data into the into the database and this is the js file uh, this is the js file we are going to build this don't worry about it it appears hard but it's, it's really very easy for us to do this is the poem.xml file let me see it's dragging but I, I guess it will open a long line this is the poem.xml we are going to talk about dependencies how to use dependencies to hook up everything together so this is a really good thing to do. Don't give up. Uh, I believe you can do it. If you've come to this, if you come this far, you are really doing great. Try to make sure you get to the end of it and we can move to something bigger. I would like to remind you, subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. If you have any, any problem at all, challenges meeting up, let me know in the comment box below. If there are friends you have that also like to benefit, okay, share it around, share this video around so that they, it can, we can build up a large community of people so that we can help ourselves. So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to move on to the next step, next step. And before I do that, I'm going to actually close everything so that we actually start from the scratch. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this presentation as well. I'm going to close this. So if you want, you can leave this website open. And then I'm going to open Spring Boot and let's start from the scratch. So we'll see in the next lesson as we continue uh, with the first step in the next lesson.